mums are single. I don't know that. Why? Barely got you. <laughs> Can you give us some words of advice? How many routes? How many trucks? <laughs> guts. On its routes. Mini trucks get the routes. Get it here first. So, start the episode, George. Welcome come back. Let's do it. Hey, hell, come. come on. Oh, Jesus. Oi. Jesus. Oi. 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 Oh, that was pretty See that? Quick. That was nice. All right. Back to sunny, sunny Toowoomba. Oh, here we sun go. Sun is out. Stars are shining. Dog. There's a cop over there. He was looking on me. Sun is out. Uh, all the cars are outside, just getting a bit of a sun back. Had to do a quick shuffle of the workshop this morning. I don't uh, know if you were around for the weekend, but the South East Queensland cop a bit of wet weather. So we figured we'd put them all outdoors to get Lots a bit of oregano. Of, had a lot of weather, <laughs> weather reports on the weekend, didn't he? So. No, he couldn't he report. The the oregano. Oregano with yeah, so we've got a bit of moisture falling from the stars. Not anymore. So, as you can see, it's just a lubricant day. Morning, everyone. Car Shop F1 GDR's in today. Going to start its round of mods. Uh, going to start its little progression into the 21st century. So we're going to get cracking with that. Uh, I've upgrades. got this bolt stuck in this socket. Take it so the it's now my microphone. Wild, isn't it? All right. Just without the mic. I don't know what Daniel's doing, but that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm Daniel. I'm doing whatever Sam's doing. Just better. Daniel's working on you chasing S13. Mounting an oil cooler, mounting an Aki sump, fitting the AccuSump into the system because it didn't previously have one. Exactly what I'm doing. Uh, getting it ready for Matsuri, filling all the oils, bleeding oh, the yeah. clutch, bleeding the hydro, fixing the handbrake, all that. Matsuri prep. Maintenance. All Matsuri, Matsuri prep week. Matsuri prep Full week. Full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. So let's go. 2K22. Two two two. Two. Mm -hmm. As you can see. We're you can come in, George. You don't have to stay out here, mate. Let's get cracking. Don't look got... at the f***ing pistons, George. <laughs> come on. We'll get everyone up to date on what we're doing for the week. So like Sam said, we've got you chasing, chilling. We've got quite a bit to do to prep for Matt Siri. Um, a lot of simple things, just mount battery, bleed handbrakes, all that stuff. And then we've also got to mount an AccuAir, Ac AccuAir, that's airbags, that's mini truck, and an Accu sump, which is similar to a dry sump setup. Don't know where we're going to put it yet, but I'll show you when I find out, when I work it out. Just finished up a rear parcel shelf delete, I think it'd be called. I don't know, maybe. Rear parcel shelf. Um, so I've got to put that in, just painted it. Look, I can't do this much longer. I've got to go help these these children down here. They look like they're struggling, George. And, you know, if you need an adult to sort an adult job, I'll do it. No, nah, but anyway, I'm not an adult, so I can't go over there. And then currently, currently mounting an oil cooler, so we've got to put an oil cooler in here somewhere. Meanwhile, these boys sort out the oil. Something really like, hey, f me, George, cut all that. <laughs> currently in the process of making a... I f forget what I'm even f doing. Oil cooler. In the process of making an oil cooler brackets that we need to mount up the front to... Things aren't getting hot, we just like to keep everything as cool as possible, so got to punch that out and then, yeah, keep moving on, you know? Happy Tuesday, everyone watching. Bye, George! Stop looking at the pistons! Oh, you got this thing in the shop. Oh, Tony, what are your thoughts on this thing? I just need you to body drop it, brother, and then it'll be like thumbnail and everything, brother. Thumbnail and all. 
Uh, I'm not going to lie, I, I said we should start it all in front of the Hilux today. Hey? We should have an introduction in front of the Hilux. Yeah, that's what Which I was... We, we did do it. <laughs> did Whether or not George leaves it in George or not, eh? George Mini truck and George, get on it. What does Jit say? Mini trucks get... Rubs. <laughs> Wait, Stewie, what do the mini trucks get? Rubs. Heard it here first. Mini trucks get the rubs. George and all the females watching. You don't actually have to film this. I was just... I just wanted to get all the parts out so you could look at them. What did I just kick? What's in this box, George? <laughs> I missed the seam completely. What do we got? Oh, Haltech. Haltech. Got the Haltech Elite 2500. Yeah, what do you think it is? Uh, You're not recording. In a, I am recording. Oh, what is it, George? What do you think it is? Uh, in a box that shape. Honestly, the shape of the box is going to throw you off a bit. Is it? Is it just little things? Yeah. It's a few little things. It wouldn't be fitting. No, what? not fittings. Uh, I don't know, cables. Close. It's an R35 GTR coil kit. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Alright. Welcome back to Huey's Kitchen. Absolutely magnificent. We should, we should start a new series. Mobs. Welcome to the beginnings of the uh, little series that we're going to be doing on this 34. So this is a car shop F1 built R34 GTR imported from Japan, Japan land. Um, obviously, obviously, I'm going to stop saying that. I'm going to. As you can see, it's already undergone extensive modifications. However, they are somewhat outdated now. Um, as cool as it is, having all those really sick Japan parts on there that are like very JDM and very Japan land. Um, the technology now is sort of skyrocketed and it's a little bit behind the time. So what we're basically going to do is give the engine a facelift, a performance lift, a modification station. Here is the modification. We've actually, we've actually got a modification station. For once, for once we like we can say it and have it. So this here, here we have the R34 GTR modification station. So as you can see in front of you at the station, we'll start over here, starting on the uh, your left, everybody at home. We've got Haltech uh, Elite 2500 ECU plug and play adapter harness to suit the R34 GTR. So that will plug straight into the factory uh, factory loom in the passenger kick panel. Pop that up in there, very good, very nice. Daniel will make up a bracket for it. Sit it up under the, um, just below the like A, A, A conditioning, just below the air conditioning box. Um, that's where we usually sit them, so we'll sit them up there. Coming across to the next, so here we've got a complete PRP R35 GTR coil conversion. So in the conversion, you get their billet bracket, uh, six, R35 genuine, these are genuine Hitachi, so genuine um, R35 coils. So all you've got to do there is change the stalks over. Um, if you're doing this, for whatever reason, if you're doing this, when you pull these apart, there's a resistor inside. They're a little bit hard to get off, so if you're reefing on them and they pop open and your resistor goes flying, you're going to be, I keep looking at George on the camera, sorry George, I'm making eye contact with you and you're not looking at me. Hey George, <laughs> you're still not looking. <laughs> um, if that goes flying, that resistor is going to go flying and you're going to be very sad because you can't buy them separately. So if you're ever pulling these apart, you've got to be very careful not to lose the little resistors inside there. Uh, across one more, oh we got the uh, plug and play harness too for the coils. Um, Lower trigger kit here from PRP too, so it just uses a cherry bomb sensor and then it's got the, uh, like the tone wheel and lower timing gear combination station there. So that just goes, that's the lower timing gear. Um, across again, we've gone with the Ross Performance top trigger kit, just because we kind of like the way it looks. Um, we think it's kind of just going to suit the engine bay a little bit better. It's a little bit flashier, it just kind of draws your attention to it. So that's kind of why we went with that. And that, my friends, is special. 1500cc injectors. Uh, Bosch 1500cc is from Injectacarb locally in Toowoomba, so shout out to them along with the TI Automotive fuel pumps. So they're a 
uh, Warbro 525 we're putting in there. So we're putting in two Warbro 525s into the, make sure I get this right. Frenchies perform, just cut out the part where I said, make sure I get this right. I'm gonna do it again, ready? <coughs> you George, I already know you're gonna use it. Into, so the Warbro 525s are gonna go into the Frenchies performance hanger. So this is a, like a drop in, uh, drop in module that can hold two pumps. So we've got the exact same system in Brian's GTR. Uh, and it's making, I don't remember what it made now, this is awkward, 500 and something. Made 500 horsepower, so exact same setup. So we're gonna do that uh, with the pumps and the new injectors. So we are gonna, this car's on 98 at the moment, so we're gonna convert it over to E85, so we'll do new rubber lines, new fuel filters up the front. Um, it's already got a Turbo Smart fuel pressure regulator. So, and it's already got a fuel pressure sensor in it, so that's sick. Um, no worries there. Knock all my shit over. We've got, so all of our genuine parts, so timing kits and stuff like that, we get from Kudos Motorsports. So we've got drive-by-wire pedals, two timing kits, uh, and water pumps. So all genuine parts. If you want to have a look at this, this will put off. Can't open a bag. Getting close to this, George. You're not coming any closer, George. Are you just going to zoom? Can you see that? Now he's coming close. I'm going to put a horn on a jellyfish, that would. Look at that. Genuine timing belt. Mm. So the genuine timing belt kit's going to be going on the M-Spec. Um, for the Car Shop F1 car, we've gone with the HKS purple belt instead. Obviously, it's a flashy car. Um, so we're going to run that. So a big shout out to Kudos for getting all those parts out to us nice and quick. I think that's it. Um, that's it. Let's get going. So first up, we've got the front of the motor apart. I'm going to start by getting the balancer off, getting the timing belt off, getting that lower trigger kit installed, time the motor back up, and then we'll move on to the, uh, the top trigger. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start. I saw you zoom then, George. Let's do it. I'm on to you. Do I look concerned? <laughs> so, we've made some progress on the R34 GTR. Got a, got a fair few of the, uh, the bits. So I've got the new timing kit in, I've got the lower trigger kit and the upper trigger kit. So the crank trigger kit and the cam trigger kit all installed. Got the PRP coil pack conversion ready to go, just waiting for some spark plugs that are turning up today. Moving forward from here. Oh, right, um, well, I'm like that, that dude that's the sign language. Yeah, hey. Um, injector adapters are coming today as well. So we'll, <laughs> we'll get them in. Once they turn up, I can get the injectors in. Once the plugs turn up, I can get the coils in. From there, I'm gonna move. Uh, what else am I waiting for? Head studs are on the way, so I'm just waiting for them. And then, I'm gonna move further. Something funny, George. Something funny, George. No. You making fun of my interpreter? You're a real piece of work, mate. Yeah. I got my finger stuck. I got it. <laughs> gonna go to the back of the car, so as you can see in front of me here, in my little workbench that I've created. Oh, my titty Secretary's bands. Office. Um, just putting together the uh, Frenchie's Performance Garage. Oh. Frenchie's Performance Garage. Uh, Twin surge, not twin surge, but twin fuel tank setup. Um, These are the fuel tank, twin fuel the, tank, twin, twin pubs, fuel pump setup. So this is just a drop-in thing. We can put the two pumps into the tank. Uh, I don't know. If, well, anyway, that's gonna, you're going to see it next episode. This will be together and in the car, and you'll see all the footage of me doing that. So I'm going to be going to do that very shortly. So yeah, we're finishing off there. Yeah, we're finishing off. Waiting on a few more bits. Going to get this in the back of the car, but yeah, after that.
that's what you're going to see next time. Next on the next time, episode, this is an outro, not an in intro. In the next episode of the modification stations, get excited Wait, for you it. You need a little banner down the front across your modification table. Modification station. Mods number on four, the go. Number station 420. No. Why not? Sorry, here, Thanks. See you in there when we get it out. I can't hear that. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, done. Anyway, hey, we're signing off. I don't know why I was here. No. As you can see, the front of the motor is pretty much back together. Oh, the other thing, we're waiting on ATI um, balancer Damp, for yeah, the front. Yeah. New, new dampener to go on the front. So once that turns up, we'll get that as well. You'll see all of that in the next episode of the Modification Station. On Relations Monday. with Daniel and Sam. Remember, if it's flooded, get a Triton. Because they're like, amphibious. comment, subscribe. Like, share comment, it. subscribe. Yeah. Share it around. Share it around. I didn't mean to sniff my hand then, but I did. He's gone. I got it in the bin. See right. that. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.